And now stands poised to reach for his title and beyond. Ranked third in the land, thanks in part to a quarterback who's their undisputed leader. Now the Cornhuskers have reason to dream of another championship. With special teams play that truly is, and a dominating defense that's met all comers head on. Next collision, Colorado. Sun-drenched Folsom Field in Boulder, Colorado. A sellout crowd on hand for a matchup of two Northern Division rivals in the Big 12 as we get set to see the third-ranked team in the country on the road one more time. Today, they meet the Buffaloes of Colorado. Joe Walker and Randy Stella await the kick. fans are ready. Aldrich pooch kick and let's see who it's covered by at midfield flags down. I don't believe it went the 10 yards it needed to go. So on the opening kick, there's the knuckleball and there's the block right yep, there. You're right. Disregard the flag. No foul. The ball hit the ground. No fair catch interference. First down Nebraska. And it gives Nebraska a great field position. Eric Crouch. Dan Alexander's the eye back. He's fumbled on his first carry of the past two weeks. Not this time, at least so far. And he's got ahead of steam. Alexander trying to tip the sideline. He's still on his feet. He might take it. Puts down Nebraska. Oh, the difference of a couple weeks. 50 yards on the first carry. And Nebraska in the end zone. Two weeks ago, he fumbled the first carry. Josh Brown for the point after. And just like that, we've had two plays. An onside kick attempt. One play by Dan Alexander. Taking it down the sideline. The junior, 50 yards for a touchdown. Ben Kelly, two touchdowns on returns this year. They'll try to keep it out of his hands. Well, they're not going to kick it to him. They're going to pooch it or try and kick it. There's a pooch. A high, shorter kick. Kelly's going to try to make a play on it. Actually, he fights with his teammate. And Roman Hollowell takes it away from him. we got a penalty marker down. John Laurie's our referee. It's a holding call against Colorado, so they're going to start in a bit of a hole. Our Chile starting lineup. Here's how the group looks up front for Colorado. Joe Henningmeyer was a preseason All-American. Brad Bedell has already made one All-America list. Rogers is back from an injury. Gerard and Cook round out the front wall. Stiggers, tremendous speed. Minardi starts the other side, although Javon Green's a big play receiver in the three wide out group. Andrews is the lead man for Cortland Johnson. Mike Machete is at quarterback, and he is a fiery quarterback. And he starts with three wide receivers. But they'll keep it on the ground, and Johnson gets buried immediately by Steve Warren for Nebraska, led by Warren, who leads the team in tackles for loss. He just added another one. Kaiser, Van and Bosch, and Wills on the front four. The linebackers, Ortiz and Jackson outside. Carlos Polk, a bit of an injury, but is playing the inside spot. The secondary, a very tough one. Booker, Brown, Craver, and Ralph Brown. And those two guys, 21 and 22, as good as anybody in the country. Ralph Brown, a great cover man. And now he's in motion with Hollowell. Machete off play action. Running for his life. Got back across the line of scrimmage. He got hit a little bit and took off running. Still has a third and ten to try to pick up here. Blitz. Wobbles it out. It's intercepted. No, in and out of the hands of Van Bosch. Ten kicks this year. He gets this one off. No trouble. Joe Walker looks up in the sun and he'll take it at the 40 and goes down immediately. Nice coverage. Starting now from its own 40-yard line. Bobby Newcomb in motion. Miller, the fullback. Got guys did some turkey in yesterday. Rayola and Hochstein playing as well as anybody on that front wall with Volk, Sherman, and Jolch. The wideouts, Matt Davison went without a catch a couple of weeks ago when we did Nebraska's game. Tracy Wistrom's their big play tight end. Bobby Newcomb, their wing back. 
in the backfield with Eric Crouch and Willie Miller is Dan Alexander who's touched it once today and taken it 50 yards for a score. He's out right now and Newcomb is the tailback and Bobby's in motion out of that backfield. Crouch quarterback draw. He's got some room. Crouch across midfield. 40. Crouch down the sideline. They don't knock him out until he gets all the way to the 22-yard line and a late penalty to uh, catch anybody. Personal foul. Look right here. The fullback right. comes through, gets the block on him, and Crouch just reads the block and then takes off to the outside. And right at the end of the play, there you see they hit by the uh, offense for Nebraska adjust to whatever you're doing. Newcomb in motion, but they give it to Alexander straight up the middle, and he got to the one-yard line. Remains the eye back behind Miller. He'll get the call. Three carries, two touchdowns. Oh, boy. This looks like the Colorado defense that played the first six games and not the last four, where they've been very good. They've been dramatically improved from 29 points down to 14 a game, and for the most part, is for the point after. London got the hold down. The kick is perfect. And... We're only three minutes into this football game. It's 14 to nothing, Cornhuskers. What Gary Barnett has done, and we mentioned it, is, is put this as a red letter. We want a rivalry here. Kick to high, short kick to Hollowell last time. They'll do the very same thing here. Hollowell looks at Kelly, turns around and says, yours, Ben, at the 10. But he only got to about the 27. Tell me what I'm doing well. Tell me what I'm not doing well so I can work on it and get better. They're going to run a draw play out of the shotgun at Corlin. Johnson takes it out near the 30-yard line. They got it all. Machete throws. Got a wide open receiver across the 40, and that's Javon Green. Now the fullback, Andrew. Trying to pull his way forward, got to almost to 45. Cormier comes in as a third wide receiver. Machete, the quick drop, and the out to Green. Made an acrobatic catch. Nope, they're going to say out of bounds. Not even close. Hollowell in motion on a third down. Machete rolls to throw. In trouble. He's got to let go of it. Too much pressure. Last time by Ben Kelly, one of the gunners out there on the coverage. Walker runs up on this one. I think it might have lost it in the sun. Has to back out of there, and it's down by Damon Wheeler on the special teams. Cornhuskers from their own 19. Davis in a single wide out, and it's a fullback Miller, and he blasts out to the 26-yard line, a pickup of almost seven. Defensively for Colorado, the Chili's front four. Bannon playing very well in there with Warren McDonald and Fred Jones. Their rush in. The linebackers, Ty Gregorak missed the last game. He's back now. Sykes, their big play man, and Drew Walrus. And in the secondary, Barnes and Lewis are the safeties. Damon Wheeler and Ben Kelly are the corners. Kelly, an All-American on one list already this year, and as you saw, a great return man as well. Second and four. Alexander on the pitch. This time, Colorado's got it read pretty well. Bobby Newcomb back in motion toward the ball as Crouch pumps once and fires the out. He's got Davison across the 40 and out to the 45. First down, Cornhuskers. First down at the 45. Up the middle with Miller again. They're using the fullback. Davison in motion with three wide outs to the left. Here's a slip screen in out of the hands of Bobby Newcomb. You plug one leak and <laughs> water comes through somewhere else. Yep. Third and eight. Craps to throw. Got a deep out. Tipped. Almost intercepted for Nebraska. High kick. Kelly waiting on it. He's going to take a shot at it from the four. Dangerous position, but he's got a little bit of room. And he gets out to the 16. And that's with Bob Greasy, Steve Cyphers, and our ABC crew with you. Play action. Machete wants to go deep on the sideline to Green. And over his head, Ralph Brown really is. Here's the toss to Johnson. And Johnson only got it out to about the 19. Third down at seven now for Mike Machete from the shotgun on a quarterback draw. And Vandenbosch says, uh, I'm going to draw this up for you. Nice kick. Walker's got a back pedal at the 32. And great coverage again by the Buffaloes. That's 14 to nothing. And the Cornhuskers have it back again at their own 33-yard line. Again, they fake that end around and go up the middle to the 38-yard line. Second and five. 
On the option, Crouch will keep it. Got a nice block from Euler, the fullback, and he might have the first down. Third down at about three inches for Nebraska. Crouch he didn't get much, but he didn't need much. He's got a first down. You know, a lot of people think Nebraska's had an off year on the ground because they're only averaging 260 yards. They're still sixth best in the country. There is the end around to Newcomb. Colorado does a nice job with it, though, and Wheeler and Bobby Newcomb stead when Newcomb was shaken up last year, and now he is the man at quarterback. And he got hit as soon as he tried to get the pitch. The ball is loose, and Colorado's got it. Big hit by Rashidi Barnes. So the fumble recovery gives Colorado a good field position to work with now. Finally in Nebraska territory. There's the numbers coming in, obviously. And Johnson hit the backfield by Steve Warren. They're showing him around. Third down and five. Stiggers in motion. Machete, the quick drop, fires, and it's batted down by Carlos Pope, the linebacker. Almost got a hand on it was Pope. And this one floats down, bounces at the one. And into the end zone. And he's got the Nebraska offense set up again at the 20 yard line. On the option. Crouch is going to keep this one, and he goes down to the line of scrimmage. Tough time for a tight end. And once they're at risk, the pretty much along the way here. He's going to keep it again. And a late pitch and a fumble. Out of bounds. Crouch. Broken field and into the open field. Eric Crouch, Ben Kelly trying to track him down, and he will. But he got all the way to the 30-yard line. 46-yard run. He does want to run first. 91 yards on six carries for Crouch. Now it's Alexander. And he busts in to the secondary. Almost a first down run. Two more touchdowns already today. Here's a pitch to it. Watches his blockers, and he's down inside the 15. They give up some, too. They always keep it interesting. Number 14, Alexander hit the backfield. Two tight ends set now. They haven't gone to Wistrom yet in this game. Second and 14. Crouch scrambling around, and down he goes. Jay Sean Sykes got it. Nebraska will face the third and 15 when we return. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Coming, but let's see what they do offensively with Bobby Newcomb in motion. They're going to throw it out there to him. High there and incomplete. So it'll be a 34-yard field goal attempt. Frankie London is the holder. Kick by Brown is on the way, and it's perfect. Nebraska's done very little wrong today. And ranked third in the country, leading 17 to nothing with him to this day, and it's uh, gotten him a, you know, a championship and a, a Cy Young Award. So, Jarrington checks in a tailback now for Colorado. Marcus Stiggers in motion, and Machete falls down, try to backpedal. Line of scrimmage knocking the back. Machete to throw a screen out. Carrington on the run. But he's upended by Ralph Brown. Great move. Punting time again for Colorado. And they fake it. Pass complete. First down across the 40 and out to the 49 yard line. Nate White with a reception. Some of these plays working, and that was a big one. Let's see if it helps him. Portland Johnson. His best run of the day. Got five. Yeah, they're tough. Two tight end set. They'll toss it to Johnson. Following his blockers. First down at the 40. We can see these guys. Inside the 40 they are with a first down. And Johnson spins his way for three. He never had it more than five plays. Machete running for his life. Throws incomplete. Just got rid of it. Third down at seven. Machete from the shotgun. Has time. Throws complete Hollowell. And it's a first down. First conversion of a third down for Colorado. Andrews, the fullback. And he blasts his way down to about the 23. Colorado trying to fight back in at the 11th play of this drive. And Cortland Johnson is working the middle right now, going straight at. Yes. Yep. They'll run Johnson again. This time, Polk's got him all wrapped up. And pass from punch formation. They're a 50% team on fourth down. Andrews, I don't know. 
put his head down and put 240 pounds down. And the referee says first down. Machete now from the gun. Mike's got time. Going to go to the corner of the end zone. Overshot the intended receiver. There's the red zone for Colorado this year. That's pretty good. Machete wants to throw back to the left after the pump fake to the right, and the screen just never materialized. He had to just get rid of it. Javon Green and Marcus Stiggers both to the right side. Machete going to throw to the end zone and overshot. Jeremy Aldridge will try to get that goose egg off the board for Colorado from 33 yards out. And he does. So Colorado finally on the scoreboard. They gambled on a fourth down, picked it up. It led to three points, but they still trail by two touchdowns. Set to kick away Joe Walker and Randy Stella way on the other end. Stella backpedals, goes over his head, and he'll have to take a knee five yards deep. He's a big play threat. Bobby Newcomb in motion. Play action. They're going to try to come back to Newcomb. Knocked away. Pleat that one. Alexander now bowls his way, and he's into the secondary. Dan Alexander, the foot race. I think he's going to win it. All the way, touchdown, Nebraska. Ben Kelly never gained a step on Big Dan Alexander. Alexander is 245 pounds, only six feet tall, and Kelly couldn't catch him. Warming up the North Division of the Big 12. They can't start thinking about San Antonio yet, but boy, they have taken a giant step in that direction. And Nebraska leads. 24 to 3. Kick goes behind Ben Kelly. Really traced from my experiences as a coach at Michigan. When we played the Buckeyes, it was so challenging, so demanding, so rewarding. Of the Big 12 is here in Boulder somewhere as Andrews, the fullback, gets a carry off the left side. The program, obviously. Uh, maybe after this play, you can give us your opinion on how Gary's done so far. Here's Machete on the roll. Got the corner. Mike puts his head down and gets a first down. A six and a half minute mark from their own 40. Machete, the play fake, and throws a streak, and it's knocked down. They're just playing great coverage by Ralph Bound. Stiggers, the lone wide receiver. They'll keep it on the ground at Cortland Johnson now to pick up of about three. Booth down to our left and enjoy the game, folks. Phil, it's always good to see you. Bill McCartney, national championship coach here at Colorado. Hauls in a third and long. Not, not an easy thing. It's easier to see from up here. On the ground is Carrington. And that seems to be what they're doing. On a second and eight, Johnson runs into Warren, and down he goes. Too tall. Uh -huh. He can do it done with his size. Come on. Goes 5'10". If he's lucky, high snap. That one too high for Machete. He picked it up on a hop, though. And has to take it out of bounds. Nobody down there in the pass pattern. Kicks it a mile in the air. Colorado looking to cover it inside the 10. Are they going to get a shot at it? Nope. They stumble as they try to get it near the goal line, and Fred Jones couldn't find a handle. For First down, Nebraska. And the fullback, Miller, goes for about six straight up the middle. They're using Willie a lot. Of Got to start playing smart. There's a fumble. They put it on the ground. Colorado says they have it. Officials don't indicate yet. Now they do. Yep. Nebraska hasn't needed to throw much today. They won't hear either. Crouch will keep it. Open field for Crouch. He's over 100 yards on the ground again in the first half. Of first down out at the 43. Bobby Newcomb in motion. He'll give it, though, to the eye back Buck Halter. And he hangs on to the ball. He just, he just keeps saying how, how, how old he's getting, how tired he's getting. He does back hurts. Back experience on the staff. They've got 145 years of experience on the Nebraska staff. Crouch keeps this one, too, and he got collared from behind. Crouch, straight drop, six. Goes deep for Newcomb. And almost intercepted by Ben Kelly, and Ben saying, I should have had it. Let's see if Hayden Felt can keep it away from him. Ben's going to try another one from the four, and he goes down at the five. Uh-huh. Even on a daily basis, in fact. That's apparently the story. 
The big red of the Rocky Sports Shop, though, it's in. If you got any red on at all, Colorado players and fans do not wear any red at all. Right now, Colorado only seeing red because third rank Nebraska all over the Buffaloes, 24 to 3 at halftime from here in Boulder as we send it back to New York. John and Terry, guys. You saw Ben Kelly back there waiting on it in the shadows of the goal line. They've been trying to keep it out of his hands. This time, they're going to kick it the other way, and Damon Wheeler takes it on one hop. And Wheeler, the other cornerback, if you will, on the special teams, gets it out to the 26. At the 26-yard line. Andrews, the fullback, in motion. Machete, and a little bit of option the other way. Late pitch and a dangerous one ball loose. Nebraska's got it. Tony Ortiz with a fumble recovery. See, desperate teams do desperate things. And sets Nebraska up in great shape offensively again, this time at the Buffs 31. Here's Crouch on the option. And he'll keep it. Nice job stretching it out there. 245 pounds. He outran the little defensive back. Here he comes again. Bounces off a tackler and gets ball loose. Colorado's yeah, got it. Yes. Right at the very end, and it's scooped up by Jay Sean Sykes. There's and now the Buffs, though, with the Cornhusker fumble, get it back first down. A run a draw play. Johnson and still only got a body yard. Jason Lohr. Second down and nine. Hollowell in motion. As Machete drops. Throws on the run to Hollowell. Let's see if he can get to the stick. Yes, I think he did. Heel Craver to the left side. And Andrews in motion. And Johnson slips on his own. Second down 11. It's so easy money. <laughs> Cormier in motion and the give to Johnson. And he's leveled by Carlos Polk. Kind of guys you don't want in the way of your kicker. Here comes a blitz on Machete. Steps up. Now steps out of the pocket. Gets what he can and dives to the sidelines. Took another fake Some gimmicks. But you never know. <laughs> That'll slow your rush up when you're afraid they're going to throw the football. Nice kick. This time they will be able to cover it. Inside the 10, all the way down near the five-yard line. As Eric Crouch in the offense sets up at the six-yard line. we starting field position of the day for the Cornhuskers. They go straight up the middle, trying to find a little bit of room to breathe. <laughs> They're forgetting the tuck part. Nice play defensively at 46. Penalty markers down here as Alexander goes down. The snap, ball start, offense. Turnover margin still a pretty good one. Third down and 13. Straight ahead to Miller to about the five to Kelly without wanting to. And over in job, Kelly's got a hustle and reverses his field looking for the handle and now he can't ever find the football and it's a good punt all the way down to the 36 yard line of journalism and broadcasting majors come through there. I guess our illustrious producer Jay Rothman must have spent a class or from Nebraska. They've done a great job. Machete play action pump fakes now goes long to green. He made a catch. At the 34 finally they got That's a deep ball to green and pretty good cornerback. Machete looking to throw again. Got one man in front of him. Finally, let's go at the last moment. He was being chased out of there. Was to do it. Ran out of real estate. Bounding. Spot foul. Loss of bounds. He is going to carry the ball out of bounds a little bit further than you thought. Machete. Pressure. Screen pass. That's blown up again. And a Illegal touching by the offense. Loss of bounds. Oh, Third it's, down. It's no butt there. You want big butts <laughs> up the offensive line. I told you that a couple weeks I ago. I know that. Makes you feel secure. <laughs> Machete. Plenty of time. Incomplete. And a high lazy kick that Colorado should be able to camp under. Around the 10. Right about at the 11. Today it's not going so well for Gary Barnett. Nebraska leads 24 to 3. Eric Crouch on the keeper. And fumble again. Out of bounds though. For an option team and that's going to happen. And Gary Barnett said the good thing for a lot of their fumbles, they're near sidelines and you can't get a handle on it. That's what happened on that last one. Third and four. And they get the stop. In fact, they lose yardage. Andy Peake turned around by Hayden Feltz punt and couldn't get a handle on it. This Hayden is a Feltz rocket. It's a oh, moonshot here. Kelly over the shoulder catch and slips on his own again. 
He's down at the 13. You can't get up and run. He'll get his knee down. He never out of it when you got him on your side. First down, Buffaloes. At, across the 15, but not much more. 21, 24 points. That's a big day. Michelle on second and seven in trouble again. Penalty marker down. We're going to have holding. And it is a holding call against Colorado. Let's see how Michelle does from the shotgun. And a third and 11. Has some time. Incomplete. Playing in that championship game. Peach. Well, that one was a peach pick. The difference in the punters has been shown in the last two possessions. First down now, Nebraska after the short punt. Buck Holter, the handoff, the fake handoff, I should say, and Cap Crouch comes out where Sykes. Buck Halter got a first down and almost wiggled free. Damon Wheeler holding on for dear life. Two. First down just outside the 20. Crouch, quarterback draw. Boy, tough run inside. And well over 100 yards again. Second and a long four. Crouch tripped and down he goes. Eric's already well past that. That would be for a quarterback to lead the Corn Huskies in Russia. And then he goes down again, and that time he's more running back than he is quarterback. Brown's hit one today. He'll try this from 37 yards out. Looks like it's right down the middle again. Josh Brown, a couple of field goals today, and he stretches the lead out further. It's 27-3, Huskers. Stiggers still hasn't caught a pass today. He's in motion. Machete looks left, wants to look right, and down he goes. Before him, obviously, second down at 15. Hope showing blitz. They back out of it. Machete running out of time. And Fire to snap. Ball starts. Offense. Five yards. Replay second down. Second down at 20. Machete from the gun. Fires complete. Nice pass. Out across the 40. Third down at six. Here comes a blitz on Machete. They pick it up. He lobs it to Stiggers with great speed. Stiggers at midfield. First down and into Nebraska territory at the 32-yard line. First down for the Buffaloes just outside the Nebraska 31. Longest play of the day on that last one. And now they go back complete penalty marker. He pushed off. And now the coaching staff has to carry him off the field. I mean, he just he won the war of the battle but lost the penalty. Machete down the middle, incomplete. Hit as he threw. Second and 25 now. And again, Machete from under the gun. Pump fakes, down he goes. And that was Julius Jackson who got it. Yeah. End of three quarters now. Third-ranked Nebraska 27, Colorado 3. An ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Sea of red as the Cornhusker fans enter the fourth quarter. Their team in front, 27-3. Machete on top to Stickers. And he goes airborne and hangs on. Yeah, a bag of tricks over there with Gary's got. 50-yard attempt on the way. Nice. Aldrich Very nice. got it. Nice kick. That matches his career long. Colorado tacks on three here early in the fourth. 49 yards. Kicks it deep. Stella from the one. Stella across the 20 and out to about the 24 yard line. And the teams, number two and number three in the BCS, playing here at the same time. Crouch, play fake, wants to go deep down the middle. And incomplete. Damon Wheeler had excellent coverage. Second down and 10, but as you said, they haven't moved much through the air. They've got it all on the ground. Two tight end set here, and they'll try to do it on the ground again. Buck Halter, now third and five. Inside one will not get him the first down. End over end punt. Hollowell's been the main, dropped it, and been the main receiver today, and almost a little kid walking around. Red run, red run, red run. It's going to be red run today for Nebraska. That's the way it's going so far. Machete wants to throw a screen to Stiggers. Boy, that was dangerous. Something could have been picked off. Watch the game summary as Nebraska leads 27-6. Machete in trouble. Warren's got him. 
Way back at the five. The senior season, he says, Steve's playing as well as anybody we've had in here. Here's Cortland Johnson, breaks three into the secondary. Out across the original line of scrimmage and all the way out to the 23-yard line. Craver comes up at the 40. Ooh, he took a pop and ended up going back at the 40. James Madison's involved with won't have a bearing on the computer or the BCS rankings. Uh, that was something Roy Kramer and the guys of the BCS had to take into account. But Clemson and Virginia are your legitimate non-conference games, but those other two games, that's what uh, weakens their schedule. Double pass inside of Bobby Newcomb, fumble. Colorado looks like they might have gotten on top of it unless it was blown dead. The umpire, I think, is saying Colorado football. Yes, it is. The Buffaloes have it back. One fumble short of a school record they just as soon avoid. Here's an end around to Stiggers. Might be an option to pitch it back to Stiggers, too, but he keeps it and goes to the 40-yard line. He's not blocking downfield. The Shelly play action. Wants to throw a streak down the sideline. Got him. Out of bounds at the 14-yard line. First down, Buffalo. Machete now under center. Cormier on the move. On first down. Play action again. Throws to the end zone. Man there. John Minardi for the score. And the Buffs aren't quitting. State and almost dug themselves out. They've got a deeper hole. Aldridge point after. Up and good. With 8.47 remaining in the ball game. Mike Machetti says, I'm not even taking my helmet off. Get me the ball back. He just got it to Minardi and cut the lead to 27-13. Kick coming. And now they shift into an onside kick formation. We didn't think they'd do it this early. But apparently they will. Aldridge. Up to kick it, and he goes down the middle with it. They don't onside kick. Stella from the 11-yard line. Andy Stella looking for an avenue, and he goes down at the 30. They show blitz. They shift on the front against Eric Crouch. And Crouch gives it straight ahead. Only about a two-yard gain for Dan Alexander. Now, they'd love to see Nebraska pop another one up. Second and eight. Crouch. Pitch. Alexander goes down in the heat for black jerseys. They won't get it. They're going to have to give it back to the Buffalo. Oh, my goodness. Maybe too good a punt. It was. It hit the trees. It hit the end zone on the fly. If I was a Big 12, I'd be a little more judicious on how I sent that trophy someplace in years to come. Yeah. They've used it as motivation. Here's a throw. Look at this. Look at this. And some room to run for Green down the sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Penalty marker. Yeah, there was that was a well-designed play. Did we say face mask? Now they've got trips to the left. And Hallowell comes out of that triple set in motion. Machete lofts one for Green. Incomplete. Four wide receiver group for Mike. Straight four-man rush by the Cornhuskers. The pass completed. And out across the original line of scrimmage, Eric McCready. Keeps some more heat right here. Yep, third down and seven. And motion. Prior to snap, the defense was in the neutral zone first. Oh, it goes against Willis. Take it back. Third down and two now. Machete rolls. Throws on the run. Hollowell's got another catch. Slips. Was trying to get to the sideline. They keep the drive alive. Under five minutes. Machete's going to throw long down the sideline. Tipped away by Ralph Brown. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. 15 yards. Automatic first down. I know Mike Machete will take this one. Jack Laurie, one of the better officials in the league. I don't know. That's, that's, that's kind of close up. At the 46 now, Colorado still has life. Machete throwing the deep out. Green got it. Out of Browns at the 40. Nope. Machete on a hot streak. Admits he's a streaky passer. Play action. Time for him to throw again. Incomplete broken up by Brian. 37 remaining. They trail 27-13, but they're fighting back. 
Machete down the middle. Broke the tackle. And inside the 25 to the 22. 18 yards down the middle. Losing these uh, the points at the end of the game probably won't help them. Machete. Pressure from the backside. Got it complete for Ed Johnson. Kelly Marker down. Johnson inside the 10. All the way to the 3. But again, a flag down. Yep. What the Buffaloes are saying. They're three yards away from making this a one touchdown game. Cormier in motion. Play action, Machete. Almost tackled out of the end zone. Incomplete. Daniel Graham slipped. All sets up in the backfield with Johnson. And now will be in motion. Machete again rolling. In trouble. Lost it to the end zone. Cut. Jenny's hurt. First catch of the day by the tight end. And it's good for a touchdown. And they're a point away from being within seven. And Machete being helped off the field. They get a seven-point game. And it is. Don't go anywhere. 351 left. There's life in Boulder at Folsom Field. And there's still life in the Buffaloes, thanks to a gutty quarterback and a prayer answered in the end zone. Left of Jeremy Aldridge. You would assume this is where they will try it. 3.51 remaining. Colorado has used one of its timeouts this half. It hit him. One official said Colorado and still does. The yes. other says Nebraska. Yes, you're right. One official, you can see no, he was wrong. on the screen. He was wrong. This one, Colorado's got it. The one inside was wrong. There was... They've got Mike Machete glued together at the 44-yard line. And here they come. Machete running out of time. Breaks the tackle into the clear. Machete inside the 40. He lost the ball out of bounds, but he's got a first down Colorado. You just want to get them a little bit of a time. First down at the 34. Cortland Johnson into the clear. Johnson inside the 20. And another Colorado first down. Three wideouts. And now Cormier in motion. First down for Mike Machete. Immediate flag goes down. He throws. It's incomplete. In the backfield of Colorado, it's a motion call against yep. the Buffalo. Out, and they would do things that look very similar to this team of Colorado right here. First down at 15. Machete sets, fires to the end zone, Green's there, got it, touchdown! <laughs> Machete to Javon Green for 21 yards, and we're a point away from a tie game. We are tied up. Kick straight away. They don't need it onside here. Plenty of time left for their defense to do its work, and he hammers the kick. Stella has to take it seven yards deep in the end zone. The crowd is electric. We're tied at 27. Nice play fake by Crouch. Downfield and finally goes to Wistrom when they need him. First down out to the 32. Another play fake. There it sets up and going deep for Wistrom. Overshot him. Nice coverage back there. Second down and 10, Nebraska. Quarterback draw. Eric goes straight up the middle. Put down at the 34. Finally, Machete got him. Nebraska's missed their last six third down conversions. They've got to have this one. Crouch. Incomplete. They're going to have to give it back. Kelly's not going to be able to track it down, and it goes out of bounds inside the 10. A great kick at the five-yard line. Nebraska's 16-14 win, and he stepped on Machete in the process. But Machete now comes up firing from his own five, incomplete. That's so true. Machete handoff to Johnson. Broke the tackle. Portland Johnson gets him some room to work. He lost the there football. Is. There it is. Craver's got it. Nebraska ball. 
He just took it away. Mike Brown stripped it. Keo Craver's got it. Comes without trying. Crouch. The pitch. Fumble! Colorado's got it! I can't believe he pitched it. I cannot believe that he pitched it. Unreal. This is seven, and they've lost four. Machete, draw play, Johnson, quick opener. Colin Johnson across the 30. Johnson with Julius Jackson. Try to track him down, and finally they get him at the 42-yard line. Pick Isn't up the 27. Going for a nice run out here. Nebraska might be suffering from the altitude a little bit. That pass nowhere near. He's a tough kid in every sense of the word. And the first one he'll blame is himself. Stretcher's about the only place he hasn't been today. Comes up throwing again. And then he made a great catch. He's still on his feet inside the 25. Minority somehow turned all the way around and caught that ball. Unbelievable. Only five. First down, Colorado. Charrington in a tailback. He'll get the call. He gets to the 20. Charrington on the inside handoff. Got it to about the 16. Aldridge, two for two today from 33 and 49. Has not had a field goal block this year. From 34 for the win. Kick on the way. He missed it. We're going to overtime. Unbelievable. What's your call? Nebraska calls tails. It is tails. All right, Nebraska chooses to be on defense. Field goal machete in group zone. Field goal kicker here is a big plus. Good defense and a field goal kicker from the 25. Machete, a toss to Cortland Johnson. Follows his fullback. Got inside the 20. Kept his footing. Mike Brown brought him down. Second down and three. Cortland Johnson again. Don't think he got the first down about. Stiggers in motion. Third down in the yard. Fullback Andrews. I don't know. I don't think so. This will be a 33-yard attempt. Aldrich has a final look up to try to give Colorado the lead in overtime, and he does. Right down Broadway. Colorado leads 30-27. Now the pressure is on Nebraska. If they can pull this out, it'll go to San Antonio to meet Texas for the Big 12, 12 title. Crouch drops back to throw. Now throws short over the middle. It's caught by Davison. Not a very big game. To about the 21-yard line. Second and six in overtime. Colorado by three. Alexander blasts his way straight up the middle. Third down and a long three. Willie Miller has got a first down. Keep it in your hands no matter what type of play it is. Crouch will give to Alexander. Pops inside the 10. Alexander to the one-yard line. About two feet away from the Colorado goal line. Nebraska with a chance to go to the championship game. They are there. Touchdown. <laughs> the officials unpiling bodies signal touchdown as Crouch went in from a yard out. Penalty is declined. The touchdown Penalty is on the defense. It's a Colorado touchdown, Colorado Nebraska. Touchdown. They're going to San Antonio. They've got a little bit of revenge in store, maybe, for the Texas Longhorns. What a game. What a game. What a great game. Great rivalry. If this is what this is what Gary Barnett wants, he's got it. He's got it. Dan Alexander, three touchdowns today, but it was Eric Crouch, their undisputed offensive leader, who just got enough a push inside. And it's touchdown, as you can see. Nebraska goes to the Big 12 title game and wins its 10th game of the season for Gary Barnett. A gallant and brilliant effort by his team in the second half came up short.